roles here because there's four levels of measurements for passive, leisurely, moderate and vigorous. Uh, and what the summary statistic tells us is uh, how many observations were at each level. You can see for passive there was three observations across across here. For leisurely there was three observations. So in all cases there's three observations. It tells us the sum of the observations but more importantly in their case it tells us the average of the observations. So those people that ran uh, the 400 meters that took the passive exercise, okay, uh, their average time was 68 seconds. Those that ran the, were using leisurely, their average time was 64 seconds, and so on. The vigorous guys, their average running time for the 400 meters was 56 seconds. So that's the first uh, variable. Our second variable that's listed here is the type of drink that was drank just before uh, the race was, or just before the, the, the run was undertaken. Okay. We have Diet Coke, we have regular Coke, and we have Red Bull. Okay, And once again, there was four observations for Diet Coke. There we go. One, two, three, four observations. There was four for regular Coke, four for Red Bull. But more importantly, we have the average times that the participants in them groups okay, took uh, to run uh, to run the 400 meters. So for Diet Coke, the average time was 58 seconds. For regular Coke, it was 50 seconds. And for Red Bull, it was 76 seconds, which is an unusual value there. Okay? But this is a an artificial or a, a synthetic uh, data set that I have here. Now, in relation to a ANOVA two-factor without replication, okay, there's basically, I suppose, two outputs that we're interested in. Okay? We're interested in the output, the ANOVA output for the rows and for the columns. Now let's keep in mind that the rows represent the exercise that was undertaken and the columns represents the type of drink. Okay? Now there's no interaction term defined here because there has been no replication. Okay? But more importantly for air, for, for, for air purposes here, just to interpret the table, okay? When we look at the rows, which is exercise level, okay, uh, the output for the rows tells us that there was a sum of squares of 268, the degrees of freedom was 3, the mean sum of squares was 89, the F statistic was 1.91, the p-value is, is, is 0 0.22, and the critical value is 4 uh, approximately 4.76. Now, what this is testing here for us is whether there's any significant difference in relation to the average values yeah, that, were, that were observed across the rows. In other words, it's like a single factor ANOVA. It's actually asking whether the average speed for passive is different to leisurely or passive is different to moderate or passive to vigorous or leisurely compared to moderate or leisurely, leisurely to vigorous or moderate compared to vigorous or whether they're all different. Yeah? And so it's comparing, it's like a one-way ANOVA, it's comparing these averages to see whether there's a significant difference. And don't forget, like the one-way ANOVA, the single-factor ANOVA, the null hypothesis is that the average for all of the groups is the same. In other words, that there's no difference. And we know the rule that we've said, if the P is low, the null must go. Uh, what we mean by that is, if the P value is less than our significance value, we throw away the null hypothesis. Now, with respect to the rows exercise, okay, we can see that the p-value that's being reported here is 0.228, which is not less than 0 0.05, and as such, there's insufficient evidence to throw away the null hypothesis. More importantly, there's insufficient evidence to suggest that the type of exercise program that you undertake okay, uh, results in a different average speed albeit the speeds look different, okay, 68 seems a lot greater than 56, there's insufficient evidence in this case to suggest that there's a statistical difference between them, okay. Now, when we look at columns, okay, the columns variable, which is in relation to the type of drink that was drank just before the 400 meter run, Diet Coke, regular Coke or Red Bull, uh, we can see that the significance level for that is 0 .00, sorry, 0 0.004. Okay. Once again, if the P is low, the null must go. In this case, the p-value, 0 0.004, is less than the significance value, which is 0 0.05. And as such, we throw away the null hypothesis in favour of the alternative. So what are we saying? We're saying that there's evidence to suggest that the null ain't true. Okay? There's evidence for us to move to the alternative. And the alternative for a single-factor ANOVA is that at least one of the possible pairings 
or one pairings across the groups between Diet Coke and regular, or Diet Coke and Red Bull, or regular and Red Bull, that at least one of those possible pairings, yeah, okay, uh, there is a significant difference between their their average scores. Okay, uh, we don't know which one there is. There is a difference. Minimum it has to be between the largest observed mean value and the smallest mean value, okay? because they would be the, the greatest distance apart with respect to the distribution centers. Yeah, okay? So there is at least one difference here. It's actually the performance in running a race Yeah, okay? is different uh, with respect to whether you drink Red Bull or regular Coke. Minimum. Okay. There could also be a difference between Red Bull and Diet Coke, or Red regular Coke and Diet Coke, but I suppose what we'd have to do is we'd have to follow this up with some sort of post hoc test to actually ascertain which possible pairing uh, of, of the others yeah, uh, would be different. Okay guys, uh, I hope this helped uh, in your understanding of, of what a, I suppose, what a, a two-factor or a two-way ANOVA without replication is, okay? The key thing to keep in mind here is without replication means that there's a single observation for every pairing of the independent, of the two independent variables, okay? So once again, guys, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, and I hope this video uh, was somewhat helpful.